How can volunteering help your career? Let's find out. I'm Matt Hug, president and founder of Nonprofit.Courses, and more important for this video, I'm one of the chapter leaders of the Philadelphia Area Great Careers Networks, NCN Philly Group. NCN Philly is the nonprofit career network, and we work with people all around the Philadelphia region. You know, we have meetings every month on just how to connect you to the nonprofit world if that's your career right now and you're looking to make some changes, or if you're between jobs and are considering working with nonprofits in the future. So let's get to our subject here. How can volunteering help your career? Boy, there are a lot of ways. All right, first of all, if you are between jobs, uh, I've heard from a lot of folks when I suggest, well, why don't you start volunteering? You know, and, and other people have talked about this too. And, and oh, no, I don't have time to volunteer. I have to find a job. Well, fair enough, but volunteering can help you find a job. And more important, I would say that it gets you out of the house. Yeah, I know that when you're between jobs, and I've been there, that uh, it can be really socially isolating. I mean, first of all, you've been voted off the island, right? All those people you knew at work, they're still at work. You are not. You maybe are sitting at home and not being very productive. You know, you've done all the household tasks. Now what? Get out and volunteer. Get some socialization. So that's number one. Number two, you know, I hear from folks who say, yeah, but what, what happens when I get a job? Hey, everybody will celebrate. Your new friends will celebrate. And that doesn't mean you need to leave them. That just means you adjust your schedule and you go in telling them, hey, I am volunteering because I'm between jobs. And they'll expect that when you find a job, your schedule might change. And maybe you just take a break from that volunteer experience for a little bit. So that's a really good approach into not only helping yourself, but helping them and doing something meaningful while you're in between things. Now, if you are not between things, not in transition, and still looking to see how volunteering can help you, oh, well, that's certainly the case too, because employers love to see their people volunteer. And why is that? Because you carry their brand, at least the smart employers love it. You carry their brand into the community. Your positive uh, work reflects on their brand. And so that's really important to realize that you can look better to your employer by volunteering. Plus, a lot of employers, particularly the bigger ones, are all about you know volunteer days in the community because they already see that connection. So that's very important. But you know, there's more. Uh, if you build your network by volunteering. I mean, one of the things that we all get stuck in in our professions is our insular network. We see the same people. We go to the same conferences. You know, we, we all, and, and that's good. I mean, there's, there's a lot of value in that. But volunteering helps you break out of that network and get into other networks that might just help your career because now instead of being one of many people who do what you do, you're the unique person, maybe the resource person on your particular skill. So that's a huge benefit of volunteering. And talking about skills, two ways on this. First of all, you could bring some really important skills to a nonprofit that you're working with. Uh, regardless of whatever you do, you have a unique approach that maybe they never considered. You know, don't think that nonprofits uh, are, you know, backwards in every way. They're some very sophisticated nonprofits, but maybe your point of view isn't something they considered. So that would be a real benefit to them and make you feel good for helping out uh, an organization that's really important. But there's another side of skill building, and that is you building your skills. Like I said, a lot of nonprofits are very sophisticated, and so you might be able to learn from their processes in a way that will help your career. On the other hand, if you work with a very grassroots or a nonprofit that isn't sophisticated in some aspect of what you do, you can uh, you know, help them out, but also learn new ways and new ways, new applications for your particular profession. So it really is a good way of building your skills, keeping fresh on skills, not letting things atrophy while you're between jobs. So volunteering can really help you a lot in that way. You know, there's 
just so many ways that uh, volunteering can do things for you and for the nonprofits that you might help. Uh, before I leave, I want to point out a couple of resources. I'm going to put some links below on some articles that will tell you more about how volunteering can help. By the way, if you're looking for volunteer opportunities, there's a lot of ways to find them in your community. United Way is a great place to go. They can point you to all sorts of different directions. And, you know, don't take offense if somebody says, gee, we, either we don't take volunteers or that you have to jump through some hoops to be able to volunteer. Because, you know, there's a lot of concerns these days about having the right kind of people. Uh, you know, those people who maybe you know, they might want a criminal background check. They might want to go through child protection clearances and things like that. That's for everybody's safety. There's a lot more awareness of that these days. So, you know, there's going to be some process. Don't worry about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, United Way is a great place to start. Sometimes uh, Chambers of Commerce is another good place to start. And, um, you know, so start looking around in your community for these volunteer opportunities. But the one thing I will also say is make sure that you connect with a mission you love. That will really help you and them because you will have much more enthusiasm going into something that you care about than something that you're not so sure about. So keep that in mind as you move forward. So I'll put those links down below. I'm also going to put a couple other links there. I'm going to put in a link for Philadelphia Great Careers Network. If you're coming to this video not through that, then check that out, especially you know if you're in the Philadelphia area. Uh, if you're not, maybe this is a project that uh, you want to start uh, in your own area because the Philadelphia Great Careers Network really is great. Uh, they have thousands of people who are connected to them and they've helped over the years. So uh, you'll find some resources there. And I'm going to put a link to NCN Philly. That's the Nonprofit Career Network Philadelphia. We're a subchapter of the Philadelphia Great Careers Network. And uh, if you're in the Philadelphia area, please come to one of our meetings. And if not, again, that might be another opportunity for you to start something similar there. And you can just reach out and we can help you do that. Okay, this is Matt Hug, president of nonprofit.courses. Oh, and I shouldn't forget. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, go to nonprofit.courses because it is going to be a great training resource for you and all the people you know who are involved with nonprofits because there literally are hundreds of videos and podcasts there on all aspects of running nonprofits. And it should be something that you and your fellow volunteers can get a lot out of. And most of them are free, even better, right? Okay, one more time. This is Matt Hug. Have a great nonprofit day.